A Harker Heights woman has asked her landlord for a lease multiple times, but never got one. And now that landlord's trying to evict her. So does she have any protections in this situation? Six News reporter Andrew Moore went looking into it for us today. He joins me in studio. Andrew? Whitney Payton rents a trailer in Harker Heights at the Star Estates. Today she showed me multiple texts where she had asked for a written lease agreement, but she says she never got one even after moving into her current trailer months ago. The owner told me he won't write one up because he is trying to evict her. So we looked into what the state of Texas has to say. According to the renter's rights handbook on the attorney general's website, Texas law requires a landlord to provide at least one residential tenant on a lease with a copy of the written lease within three days of execution or within three days of a tenant's written request for that copy. It also says failure of a landlord to provide a copy of a lease to a tenant within those three days will prevent the landlord from enforcing a lease except for non-payment of rent. So that means if you ask for a copy of your lease and you didn't get it, the landlord should not be able to enforce provisions you haven't seen. Of course, there are quite a few other issues in not having that lease as Peyton explained today. I have to have a lease for lots of reasons for moving because like when you, how am I supposed to prove that I lived here to any other place if I can't even show them the, the lease? Peyton says residents are told to pay rent by depositing money in the owner's bank account so they don't have a receipt from management either. We also found out owner Robert Mandala already attempted to have Peyton evicted for paying rent late and for speeding in the park, but Judge Bill Cook sided with Peyton. Court documents say the plaintiff, meaning the owner, could not prove their case in the eviction claim. Peyton is, of course, still having a tough situation without that document. The state handbook says a justice of the peace may need to intervene to provide relief in this situation. Chris? Wow, what a complicated affair. A real mess there. Andrew Moore, thank you for looking into that for us today.